This is an incredibly unique opportunity for them. When they come out saying that they identified a certain number of species and saw something unique that they've never seen before, that is the best moment for me as a teacher. Our terrestrial sites for the Indonesia Wallace Air project are based on Bhutan Island, which is an island just to the southeast of Sulawesi, um, which is in the heart of the Wallace Air Biodiversity Hotspot. For our school groups who join us here, they'll spend two weeks with us. The first week is in the terrestrial site, so they'll visit one of our forest camps on Bhutan. The second week they'll spend at one of our two marine sites, either at Pantai Nawana, which is just outside of Baobao Bao City, or Hoga, which is on Hoga Island in the Wakatobi region. The students will take part in a jungle survival session where they'll learn all the skills to live and survive in the rainforest. The students will also have a series of five lectures which are related to the surveys that we're doing with our scientists on the ground throughout the week. Depending on which forest camp our students head to, they may also have the opportunity to spend time in a local homestay in Lubundo village. The Wallacea region represents one of the most unique areas for fauna in the world. This is one of the only places where you can see primates together in the tree with marsupials. Opal has been working in this region for 20 years now, surveying the ongoing health, um, biodiversity and the unique flora and fauna that are present in the forests of Bhutan Island. The surveys being conducted here in Sulawesi are the longest running of all Opwal's research sites. By having these long-term data sets, it allows us to make comments about the health of the forest, about the abundances of the flora and the fauna here, and also about the stability of the carbon and biodiversity amongst the tree community. You'll have the opportunity to work with our megafauna scientists and head out early in the morning tracking footprints of fauna that's moved through our camp overnight. During the day you'll be able to track butterflies that are abundant in this region and highly diverse and you'll get a chance to catch those with our butterfly scientists. Our herpetologists use two different methods to survey the different herpetofauna here in our terrestrial camps. You'll be able to work with them to check our pitfall traps during the day and at night you'll be able to survey the streams for all sorts of exciting herpetofauna. We've got lots of frogs in this region, lots of snakes and of course there's always geckos and lizards to be surveyed. You'll have the opportunity to work with our bird scientists to go out and survey our birds based on the calls that you're hearing and the birds that you see in the forest. You'll spend a full day in the forest working with our habitat scientists surveying forest biodiversity, health and also importantly the amount of carbon that the forest here support. In the evenings you work with our bat scientists to use two different methods to survey the unique bat fauna that is present here in Sulawesi. In addition to some of our visiting scientists, you'll have the unique opportunity to work with local scientists who have been associated with Opwal for a couple of decades. The local people from the villages often know far more about the flora and fauna in this region and it's great for us to have the opportunity to work with and also learn from them about their forest. The fact that this conservation angle of why we're here um, is really strong in the forest and not just that it's important to, to not log or conserve trees but how we go about the process. So how we develop, develop a program to actually engage locals and understand big businesses on what they should be doing and how they should be managing our limited resources I guess. Um, and the awareness that it's being raised already, we're day three here in the marine site and we're talking about the conservation of coral reefs as we were the certain large fig trees and the important endemic trees to Bhutan for the same reasons that they house endemic species and not just that but they actually contain a lot of the answers um, to the problems that we have with our planet at the moment. So it's been amazing, it's a great story. Any trip that takes you away from home for 16 days is pretty special. Um, groups move through different phases of being together and what they've shown is their ability to come together, problem solve within the group, um, they have to lean on each other and I guess uh, here that same trend is sort of continuing in saying that the Marine Centre is an amazing facility that uh, you don't really go wanting um, for much here but just the length of the stay requires them to find new coping mechanisms so today they're in their comfort zone a bit more than they were five days ago but time itself creates new challenges. 
My favourite part about the Marine Week was probably learning to duck dive. I've never actually learned how to dive under the water while snorkeling and that was pretty awesome being able to get right up next to some of the big fish down there. Once they are here on the island, if they are taking part in the open water course, they'll go straight into doing their theory, their confined dives and their open water dives. For those who are qualified divers or snorkelers, they will take part in a series of lectures on our coral reef ecology course. These lectures are also paired with our in-water practicals, which will include ID dives as well as learning how to use quad rats whilst in the water. They also partake in practicals outside of the water, which will include different ways of showing them how our scientists analyse their data on site, as well as the complexity of our reefs here in the Coral Triangle. In the evenings, the students will also partake in a number of different activities, including a tour of our wet labs and talks from different scientists here on the island. And one of the things that I really enjoyed was the habitat surveys, where we got to like kind of dig our way through the forest and the jungle. But I also really enjoyed learning about how that helped put a value on the forest and how it helped create a carbon content of the forest so that we could conserve it more. This is an incredibly unique opportunity for them. When they come out of a dive saying that they identified a certain number of species and saw something unique that they've never seen before or something that was highlighted in the lecture, that is the best moment for me as a teacher.